hold in my hand a full snow 20 meter HDMI cable that has been certified as an ultra high speed HDMI cable. What this means is that the cable has passed certification testing at an HDMI forum ATC or authorized test center to be able to support all HDMI 2.1 features including dynamic HDR, VR or variable refresh rate, ER and most importantly 48 gigabits per second bandwidth which paves the way for 4K 120Hz and 8K 60Hz video signal. Now, it is generally easier to maintain full bandwidth throughput over a shorter cable run, which is why we haven't tested an ultra high speed HDMI cable that is longer than 5 meters until we got our hands on this full snow cable. If you look at this 5 meter ultra high speed HDMI cable from another manufacturer, notice how thick and rigid it is. Every time I plug it into a TV, I'm not worried about the cable breaking. Instead, I'm more worried about the cable breaking the HDMI port on the television. Now, this 20 meter full snow 8K Gen 2 HDMI 2.1 cable is thinner and more flexible, yet spans four times the length, allowing you to get to spots you otherwise wouldn't be able to reach. The secret is in the hybrid construction of the full snow HDMI 2.1 cable. Instead of using rigid copper throughout, the full snow cable uses four pieces of OM3 multimode optical fiber for fixed rate link or FRL signal transmission, as well as seven pieces of copper wire for ER, HPD or hot plug detection, power, and edit handshake functionality. In addition, the full snow active optical cable uses a second generation optical electrical conversion chip with 30% lower power consumption removing the need for an external power supply. If we scan the hologram on the front of the packaging using the HDMI cable certification app, you can see that it correctly identifies as a certified 20 meter ultra high speed HDMI cable from Full Snow. But rather than just blindly trusting a label on the box, we also did our own test on the cable itself. First, we checked its HDMI 2.1 bandwidth using the hidden HDMI cable test function on a Denon HDMI 2.1 AV receiver. Note that the full snow 8K Gen 2 cable is unidirectional. If you don't connect the source end of the HDMI cable to the video source and the display end to the display, no signal will pass through, which is why I had to pay extra attention to make sure I don't plug it into the wrong hole. The full snow 20 meter active optical cable was verified to pass 40 gigabits per second of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth according to the Denon AV receiver HDMI cable test. Now, some of you may ask why only 40 gigabits per second and not 48 gigabits per second. This is actually not a limitation of the cable, but a limitation of the Denon AV receiver which features a 40 gigabits per second HDMI 2.1 chipset so naturally, it could only test up to 40 gigabits per second of HDMI 2.1 bandwidth. Fortunately, I also have an LG C9 here which supports the full HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 48 gigabits per second, and using a PC with an RTX 3090 graphics card, I sent a 4K Hachacritius 12-bit 4 video signal through the 20 meter full snow certified HDMI 2.1 cable, which was received without any problems on the LG C9. As you can see from the HDMI diagnostic screen showing 4K Hz at 12-bit 444, even in HDR as well as G-Sync VRR or variable refresh rate without any stutter or frame drop. Fusno also sells shorter lengths of this 8K Gen 2 cable, such as 10m and 15m versions, and although I haven't tested all of them individually, once the 20m cable passed my test, it should be easier for shorter ones to do so. In any case, all of them have been certified as an ultra high speed HDMI cable by an HDMI forum ATC to give you extra peace of mind that it will stably transmit 4K 120Hz or even 8K 60Hz video signal over a long run, such as to a projector that supports 48 gigabits per second FRL. I will leave an Amazon purchase link in the YouTube description below, but I would only buy this cable if you absolutely need the extra length. For shorter runs, even the cable that comes with the PS5 should work, as I've tested and demonstrated in this video here.